Oh, hi there. It's Steve Skylark. You've caught us working hard again for you here at Adept Towers. So today we're going to explore the Lux Wi-Fi dongle and they have now released a Wi-Fi 6 dongle. The issue affects many smart home devices, lighting, um, other remote control devices. What's happened is they brought out the new Wi-Fi 6 and now a lot of it is what's called band switching. So you switch between 2.4 and 5, .5, uh, 5 gigahertz networks. So what a lot of new routers do now is automatically switch between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz without you knowing about it. It's a two-tiered problem as well because the original Lux Wi-Fi dongle is on a static IP. So uh, traditionally your IP address would have been 192.168.0, whereas now a lot of them are 192.168.1. So the Wi-Fi dongle can't instantly change itself. So there's two things we're going to look at today. First of all is changing some internal settings in the dongle. And the second is settings in your router. So you will need to be technical minded for this. The other way around it is to buy a new dongle. So first of all, we'll have a look at the screen recording I've made of how to change the static IP address on the Lux dongle itself. And then we'll go into changing your router settings as well. Okay, so this is all done via your mobile phone and a Wi-Fi connection and web browser. So first off, we want to go down into your internet settings of your phone. This is exactly the same on an Android or on an iPhone. You pull down into your internet settings and you need to be somewhere near your inverter. So even if your inverter is in the loft, um, you could be underneath it. Um, and you should search for a Wi-Fi network that would be either BA and a load of numbers or possibly BH or oh, I know it won't be DH because DH is a newer dongle. So once you've found that, you select the BA network and once you connect to it, it will probably tell you that it has not got any internet and ask you if you want to stay connected. So at that point, what you want to do is say, click a button to say stay connected. And also, if you have 3G mobile data on, turn that off as well, as that can cause issues with auto reconnecting to uh, 3G when you don't want to be connected to 3G and simply connected to the BA282 network in this, or 2482 network in this case. So once you've done that, you want to go back into your web browser. In our case, it's Chrome. We'll type in the web address 10.10. .10 dot ten dot one when we get there we see it's in chinese if your page is in chinese the top right of the screen click to be english then we want to go down to station mode setting and under ip setting you see it says dhcp disable you want to change that to dhcp client and click save underneath option to reboot the module yes please click yes to restart Okay, so at this point, if you then rebooted this web page and went back into Wi Fi mode select, you may well see that it's already connected. If it hasn't connected, then you want to go on to the next step. Okay, so the second problem with the dongles now is that you have uh, what's called band switching or automatic band switching. So your Wi-Fi networks change automatically between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, depending on what is the more stable connection. So this used to be okay, um, but now a lot of older devices can't switch automatically. So there's lots of different ways to do this. I know, for example, the Sky Router has two separate networks, but they're both named the same. So if you have a Sky Router, I know you can just go in and change one network to be called 5 gigahertz, and that will solve this issue as well. We've got a BT um, hub here. So let's have a look on here of how it's done. So we click onto the wireless settings, your router's admin page, and there should be a sticker on the back of your router. Uh, on this one down the bottom, it says hub manager, type in this uh, IP address, uh, obviously when you're connected to Wi-Fi. In this case, it's 192.168.1.254. And then you've got your admin password, which we've obviously blurred out, um, but yours will be on the back of the router. That will get you onto the page we've just been looking at. So, so once we're there and the page is reloaded. All right, so now we click on the wireless settings. 
And when we see here, we've got main and compatible Wi-Fi. So BT have actually given us a setting specifically for older devices called compatible Wi-Fi. So you can rename this as anything you like. And where you see you've got your WPA2 personal, make sure this is WOP2, WPA, sorry, and not WPA3. And if you have the option between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, always make sure that 5 gigahertz is off. And don't forget to keep, uh, click save on this. So some, some routers may have the option to, in, uh, to produce a guest network as well, which makes the same sort of thing, make a 2.4 gigahertz network with WPA2. Uh, and if you have any other routers um, that you can screen record and send to us, we can make uh, videos of those or put them on in separate videos as well. But yeah, at this point, if you look back to your Wi-Fi dongle on the bottom of your router, if you can see it easily, you should probably see now it is having three green lights now. Obviously, if it isn't easy to get to, then also re-follow the store connecting the Wi-Fi uh, to a new Wi-Fi network if you haven't done so already. You can do this either via the LuxPower app, Dongle Connect, or via the web browser um, in the first half of the video. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped you get your older Lux Wi-Fi dongle back online. Uh, if it has, then please let us know. Also, if you have any videos for additional routers and how you change their settings, disabling the band, switching the 2.4 to 5 gigahertz networks, then please let us know. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.